In this video, you will learn how to get started with a new AgentForce Builder and AgentScript recipes. We are here in a Salesforce org. Using the App Launcher, you can now access the brand new AgentForce Studio, and from there, the new AgentForce Builder, which we are launching today as Open Beta. And the core foundation of the Builder are the new hybrid reasoning capabilities of our Atlas Reasoning Engine. Hybrid reasoning means you can select where you want to rely on the flexibility of the large language model or where you want to inject deterministic behavior for driving predictable outcomes. What is driving this behavior is agent script. Here in the builder, you can switch between the canvas view or the actual script view. As this is a brand new language, we're providing a collection of agent script recipes that highlight the various language elements of agent script so that you can get started right away. The recipes are available as open source Salesforce DX project on trailer apps slash agent script recipes. Within the force app project folder, we categorize the different recipes for you. The initial categories are language essentials, action configuration, reasoning mechanics, and architectural patterns. Over time, the recipes and those categories will evolve. So make sure to star the repo, fork or clone it, and follow any changes. Every recipe has the following structure. Relevant metadata for the recipe itself and a dedicated readme. As every recipe is about a different pattern, you will see in the folder metadata like custom objects, Apex classes, or flows. You will also see the new metadata type AI authoring bundle, which contains the actual agent script metadata. We added detailed information about every recipe in form of a readme. And every readme contains a visualization of the actual agent flow, pattern highlights, and sample utterances to test the agent. You have two options to work with the recipes. Option one, you deploy it to a developer edition or scratch org of your choice. The project's readme contains all the necessary steps to deploy the project. And option two, you add the recipe directly via the new agent force builder. So let's copy this script over here from GitHub and then go back to the builder. You can create an agent via the user interface or you could create it directly using agent script. So let's paste the script that we just copied over from GitHub. I have a similar named agent already in the org. So first I update the name and then I update the label. After that, let's click create agent and wait a second and voila. Here's a new agent. So let's save it. Now, this message is anticipated because this is an agent for service agent and my agent script does not include the username to run the actual agent. So let's select the user from my org and commit the change. In this case, I don't have any associated metadata like Apex or Flows deployed. I can still test my agent using the simulation mode. In this case, the reasoning engine mocks the actual actions and permits me to iterate fast. Let's try it out. The agent greets me and I enter an initial message. After sending the message, the agent reasons based on the agent script configuration. And after this has finished, you will see the details of the interaction on the right with a detailed summary for you to review. You can not only directly simulate your agent based on your agent script, you can also go deep into how the agent did so that you can understand better and more about your agent's performance. Now, we're also providing a centralized location on developer.salesforce.com slash sample apps slash agent script recipes. Here you can access all the various recipe readmes in a single place. So whatever is more convenient for you, GitHub or website, you can have all of that. Thanks for watching and happy building with agent script recipes.